For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. Top four. And leading off of the waves, Jack Basier. Grounded out to third base in the first, and bats now in the fourth with his team up 2-1, to one, and he's in a 1-1 count from Bryce Robison. Bryce's mound is now entirely in shadow, as is his body, as Basier fouls it back to the on-deck circle, the Pepperdine on-deck circle. Jack Basier, presuming he's in the lineup tomorrow, will face his former high school teammate, Ben Hansen, BYU's scheduled starter tomorrow. The 1-2 to Basier. That's in the dirt, down on the way. Basir last night, two-run home run to help bring the Waves back in it in the eighth inning last night. But then the Cougs put it out of reach in the bottom of that inning. Cole Gamble Grand Slam highlighting things. BYU won it 13-7. Two balls, two strikes, two Jack Basir, the DH. Curveball. Looked good. Looked really good. Bryce Robinson shaking his head like, how is that not a strikeout? That count goes to three and two. That was a great pitch. It's fouled to the screen. Count stays full. Bryce Robinson, 6-3 with a 6.63 ERA. Second on the team in innings pitched and first in games started. The full count delivery and hit him. Wow. Really needed that call. That was called ball three. He plunks Basir and puts him aboard, hit by pitch. He made a great pitch that was called ball three. And now he's just disgusted because his next pitch puts a man aboard. So Parker Goff comes on out to settle down Bryce Robinson a little bit. Have him shake that, shake off that tough call on what looked to be a curveball in for strike three. So, lead runner aboard. Connor Bradshaw, the center fielder now bats, and he'll lay it down. And then a funny spin took Robinson a little off. Oh, they call him safe. They'll look at this on appeal, I would think, on a review. So Bradshaw lays down the bunt, and the spin took Roby a little off balance. He collected and gunned it to first. The call was safe, but they'll take a look at the video monitor. That was bang, bang at first. Funny spin took it sideways, and Roby had to recover. Very close. First base umpire calls him safe. That's Heath Jones, the crew chief. Live, it felt like they got him. That's so close. I've gotten two looks, and I'm not able to for surely tell how they're going to go on this review. So the portable video monitor being brought into the dugout well between the dugout and the on-deck circle to my left. If the call stands, it's first and second, no one out. If the call's overturned, it's second base and a sacrifice bunt for one out. Connor Bradshaw laid it down. Basir will be at second base regardless. As they look at the video monitor for what will have to be, obviously, conclusive evidence. Yeah, it's just really tough to tell on the behind home plate view. Call on the field is safe. Call stands. It's first and second. No one out. We're in the top of the fourth. BYU trailing it by a score of 2-1. to one. Let's take a look at our Big O Tires on the Rubber report. Our first Big O Tires on the Rubber check of the night. It is brought to you by Big O Tires, the team you trust. We take a look at both teams' pitching numbers. Bryce Robinson through three. Has given up five hits, two runs, both earned. Has struck out two, walked one. One hit batsman, 58 pitches thrown through three. Bobby Christie through three. Has given up four hits, one run. It was earned. Striking out three, walking one. One hit batsman, 63 pitches thrown. That's on the rubber, brought to you by Big O Tires. Big O Tires, the team you trust. Long look. And now the review is over. And we'll see what the call is. Heath Jones made the call at first. And he is going to confirm his own call. 
So it is first and second. No one out on the bunt from Connor Bradshaw. So it'll go as an infield hit. Bradshaw on first. Basir at second. Luke Pemberton was one for five in the series. Struck out swinging in the second inning. Bats for the second time tonight. Righty bats against the right-handed throwing. Bryce Robison. Robison will pirouette and fire to second. Stepping back to the bag is Jack Basir. Basir led off the inning by being hit by a pitch. Bradshaw looking to sack Buntum over. Gets an infield sit. A hit out of it. A bunt single after a video review. Pepperdine 2, BYU 1, top 4. Squaring and pulling back as the infielders charge in for ball one on Pemberton. Pemberton won for his last 12. Making just his ninth start of the year. He's starting in right field. Pemberton batting 244 on the season. Up to 278 with runners on. And that's laid down. Parker Goff will handle. And throw to first to the covering Luke Anderson as Jacob Wilk charged in. And it's a sacrifice. The runner's going to second and third. Basir to third and Bradshaw to second. And Pemberton is retired on the 2-4 sacrifice. Jack Goodman, the nine-hole hitter. And a sub-200 hitter at that. Waves at a chase pitch. That was well outside. The 0-1. Call strike, and this is not where a 188 hitter wants to be. Down 0-2 to Bryce Robison. Runners on second and third. Basir on third. Bradshaw on second. That's short. That's 58-footer from Roby. One ball, two strikes. On deck is Grant Shane. Shane is one for two tonight. Second and third, one out in a 2-1 ball game. Waves up by a run. And that'll be grounded to the playing in. Ozzie Pratt collects and fires. Runners hold where they are. And Jack Goodman is grounded out twice. 4-3 and now 6-3. And no one moves. And so now it's two gone for Grant Shane with runners on second and third. First two batters reached. Sacrifice put him over a base. But Goodman grounded out weakly to short with the infield playing in. Breaking ball missing away. One ball, no strikes. BYU trailing after three. Has a losing record of 4 and 14. Pepperdine win leading after three has a winning record of 13 and 8. Another breaker settles in for strike one this time. The count even at 1 and 1. BYU swept the waves in Malibu last year. Looking to do the same again here in 2023. In the last WCC games, BYU will ever play. Two balls and a strike meantime to Grant Shane, the left fielder. Top of the order. Batter, one for two tonight. Single in the first, grounded out in the third. Check swing strike. Two and two. The breaking ball from Roby. Last season in Malibu, BYU won 4-2, 6-3, and 4-2. Last night, higher scoring. Series, a series opening win, 13-7. The 2-2. And that's grounded to Jacob Wilk. He'll handle, step on the bag, and end the threat. So the first two get aboard, then three consecutive ground outs, including a sacrifice bunt. And we go to the bottom of the fourth for BY for Pepperdine. No runs on a hit, no errors, two left on. We go bottom four, 2 1 waves on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. Jacob Wilk, who made the defensive play to end the top of the fourth, leads off the bottom of the fourth. Jacob Wilk hit by a pitch and was stranded in the second inning, batting for the second time tonight. So officially 0 for 0 BYU down 2-1. So it's a one-run ball game. Both teams have had their issues in the tight ball games. The Waves 6-9 and nine in one and two-run games. BYU 6-10 and 10 in one and two-run games. The 1-0 goes to 2-0. and 0. That sails away. Bobby Christie on the hill. Into his fourth inning of work. About to make his 66th pitch. And it's ball three in the count. So fastball's missing away from Christie. And there's a lot of activity in the Pepperdine bullpen right now. So this 
could be Bobby Christie nearing the end of his night, and that's a good sign that it might be sooner than later. That's four straight balls, and Jacob Wilk is aboard. Jacob is BYU's walks leader on the year. He's just issued his 31st free pass. And so Wilk on first base, lead runner aboard for BYU for the third time in fourth innings, four innings. Last time Cooks got the lead runner aboard. That was Cooper Vasco, the leadoff double in the second. He came around to score the Cooks' lone run of the game. Dawson Hall, the DH, now batting with Jacob Wilk aboard. Left-handed bat of Hall facing the right-hander Christie. Opposite field, deep to left field. Left fielder Shane is back into the track, and that is over the wall! It's a home run for Dawson Hall! Dawson with his first home run of the year. And the Cougs take a 3-2 lead. It's a go-ahead two-run shot for Dawson Hall. Putting the H in DH tonight. Dawson gives the Cougars the lead. That was off the yellow line in left field. Just under the scoreboard. Two-run home run. Dawson Hall, that might end the night. For Bobby Christie, it will. His day is done. We'll take a break for a Pepperdine pitching change. The last pitch that Bobby Christie throws gives the Cougars the lead. 3-2 BYU on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Pitching change for the Pepperdine Waves. Gunnar Nichols enters the game. Gunnar Nichols, jersey number 51, making his 16th appearance of the year. He has three starts among those 16 appearances. Has gone 29 and two-thirds. Has given up 41 hits, 28 runs, 22 of them earned. Striking out 21, 14 on the year. A 6.67 ERA. An 0-2 record with a couple of saves. Gunnar Nichols. 64170 freshman. The right-hander out of Burbank. Replacing Bobby Christie. Christie went three, got into the fourth, did not get an out in the fourth inning. As we're in the bottom of the fourth, now Christie gave up five hits, three runs, all of them earned. The last two runs coming on a two-run shot from Dawson Hall. Home run number one on the year for the BYU designated hitter. Parker Goff will bat with still no one out here in the bottom of the fourth. BYU three, Pepperdine two on the Dawson Hall home run. Parker tonight is 0 for 1 with a pop-up. BYU has gone yard, and when the Cougs hit a home run, they're 22 and 14 on the year. That was a Zions Bank home run for Bank, and that helps you game plan for life. Zions Bank is for you. Dawson Hall with a Zions Bank home run. Zions Bank sponsoring all the BYU home runs this season. Parker Goff, the BYU catcher, on a one-for-three night and a one-for-four series. will bat with the bases clear. And the Cougs now playing from in front. Fastball, 85. Outside edge, away from the right-handed hitting Parker Goff for strike one. Gunnar Nichols. Kicks and delivers and gets two called strikes to open the at-bat to Goff. Gunner, fastball, curve, and change. Fastball topping out around 86. Curve in the high 60s, low 70s. Change in the mid 70s. The 0-2 goes to the curve and misses with it for ball one. The lanky righty with the powder blue glove on his left hand, the right-hander. Comes set. Drops the glove, winds and deals, and likes the outside edge against Goff. This time it goes to two and two. 6 4 170 fits the defini- dic- uh, dictionary definition of lanky. 2 2, breaking ball, gets a piece of it to Parker, dribbles it back to the backstop, count stays two and two. BYU Baseball brought to you by All Pro Capital. Put your money to work with smart real estate investments. Visit allprocapital.com for more information. All Pro Capital, proud sponsor, BYU Athletics. 
BYU 3, Pepperdine 2. Cougs going ahead with a two-run Dawson Hall home run here in the bottom of the fourth. That breaking ball skips away from the catcher. Fills the count at 3-2. and two. Parker Goff looking to extend a five-game hit streak. Ozzie Pratt's hit streak tonight went to 16 games as he's two for two, and he's on deck. Ryan Sapiti's hit streak holding at eight. Another breaking ball. This one stays up top. And Parker Goff reaches on a six-pitch walk. So the first three batters here in the fourth inning reach for BYU. Base on balls, two-run home run, base on balls. And Mozzie Pratt now bats. Cook's a nice chance to uh, give themselves some breathing room as their best offensive players come to bat here in the bottom of the fourth. And still no one out, already two runs across. First crooked number inning for either team tonight. Wind blowing out to center for Ozzie Pratt. Two for two with two singles and an RBI. Breaking ball stays upstairs. Ball one. Bobby Christie started, and Gunnar Nichols relieves him. Bryce Robinson's gone all the way for BYU on the hill. Flag pretty straight out there in center field. On this pleasant night in Provo, mid-70s at first pitch. Lots going on around this area today with uh, high school track action, high school softball behind us at Gale Miller Field today as well. 2-0 to Ozzy. Healthy hack, and he swings through. Strike one. Fastball clocked at 83. Not a lot of heat from either Christie or Nichols on the hill. Both pitchers with fastballs topping out at around 86. 2-1, check back at first, and Parker Goff will fall back head first safely. 2-1 the count, still no one out, and a runner on for Ozzie Pratt. Ozzie 2 for 2 tonight, and 3 for 6 in the series, the 2-1. Check over at first again. Ozzie uh, 3 for 6 with 2 RBI, and 3 runs scored. Multiple hits now in 6 of his last 9 games, including the 2 for 2 effort tonight. 2-1. Just missing. Upper outside edge of the frame. Three balls and a strike to the Cougar shortstop and top of the order hitter. Fourth batter in the inning. Still no one gone. 3-1. That's in tight and he walked him. So down and in and ball four. Parker Goff goes to second. Ozzie Pratt with BYU's third walk of the inning. And Pepperdine pitchers have now issued just three walks, but all three coming in this frame. That's that's walk number four. Three of the four coming in this inning. Luke Anderson, right-handed bat, will now hit with two aboard. Luke squares, pops up the bunt, caught by Nichols and runners retreat. So Luke didn't get it down, and that's out number one. So the rare pop-up to the pitcher. Austin Deming now batting with two aboard. Austin tonight singling and was stranded in the first and flew out to right with the bases loaded in the second. BYU now drops to 20 for 67 with the bases loaded on the year. And 20 for 67 translate to 299. Pepperdine with the sack stack hitting 357 on the year. The 0-1 to Deming. One out, two on. Bottom four. BYU's up 3-2. Kick and fire from Nichols. Breaking ball. Driven to the power alley and left and that will be into the pines. Home run. Number 16. Make it 17 on the year for Austin Deming. Ties Ryan Johnson to Pepperdine with 17 home runs to pace the West Coast Conference. A no-doubter to the power alley and left. And the Cougs take a 6-2 lead with their second home run of the fourth inning.
Goff scoring from second. Pratt scoring from first. That's a four-run fourth for a five-run fourth for BYU. Two-run home run Dawson Hall. Three-run home run Austin Deming. His 17th of the season. One ball, meantime, to Cole Gamble. Hitting with the bases clear. Still one out here in the fourth inning. And Cole turns on it and fouls that to the dugout area. It'll rebound into the infield. BYU's offense uh, more than good enough to be a WCC tournament team this year. This is an explosive BYU team at bat, but the pitching and fielding numbers lagged this year. It's a struggle for the Cougs, and yet they'll have been very close to being where they want to be. This could be a 14-13 and 13 team, and they could be in a two- or three-way tie for fifth or sixth when all is said and done, but only six make it, and BYU will have lost tie breaks at the bottom of that Six-team grouping. Two balls and one strike. One out and no one on for Cole Gamble. Cole's 0 for 2 tonight. Strike out and fly out and pops that one up. Second baseman back. Center fielder in. Center fielder will make the call and make the catch, but drifting to his left as the wind may have played havoc with that well up in the air and took a long time to settle but Cole Gamble flies out to short right center field so two gone for Ryan Sapiti now base is clear for Sapiti hitting 316 on the year Foul ball to the backstop, 0-1. Everyone in the BYU batting order now has at least one home run with Dawson Hall getting his first of the season in this inning. 0-1 goes to 0-2, called strike at 86 miles per hour from Gunnar Nichols. Deming, 17 home runs. Gamble, 14. Sapiti 12. Those are the three in double figures. And BYU as a team now has 75 home runs. Off speed. Sapiti out in front. Third strike not caught. They'll throw to first to make it official. And Sapiti down on strikes. BYU brings eight to the plate in the fourth. The Cougs score five runs on two hits. The two hits were a pair of home runs, two runs and three run home runs from Hall and Deming. 6-2 BYU. Top five next here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. Top of the fifth, almost halfway home here at Miller Park. BYU 6 and Pepperdine 2. First batter in the fifth, Ryan Johnson lifts it high in the air to the right field corner into foul territory and giving chase, but it drops into foul for strike one. Giving chase was Sapiti in that right field corner. Ryan Johnson, the batter. Johnson, two runs on a one for two night. Austin Deming and Ryan Johnson tied for the WCC lead with 17 home runs apiece. Johnson batting. Deming moments ago hitting his 17th. And on the 0-1, Johnson out in front of an off-speed pitch from Roby for 0-2. Austin Deming leading the WCC in batting average, RBI, and home runs. A potential triple crown winner for BYU, and that's a quick strikeout of Ryan Johnson waving in successive futile attempts. Three pitch K for Bryce Robison. A forward K, and strikeout number three on the night for Roby. Bryce Robison has thrown 71 pitches, has thrown 72 pitches. Fastball. Paint job on the outside edge. For strike one on John Peck. Peck is 0 for 1 tonight. A walk and a ground out. Fouls it to the backstop. 0 and 2. So Roby's thrown five pitches and gotten five strikes here in the fifth. 
Pepperdine, two runs on five hits. BYU, six runs on six hits. No errors for either team. Kick and fire, and first ball of the inning for Roby, one and two. John Peck is 0 for 5 in the series with a run and an RBI. Three strikeouts. He's reached base in 32 consecutive games. Pops up into foul territory down the first baseline. Luke Anderson will call off. Jacob Will can make the catch. And two gone. So Peck pops up to second. Luke makes the catch in foul territory down the first baseline. Two gone for Lincoln Ariana. Ariana, the offensive star for this Pepperdine team. Somewhat unexpectedly, as he was in a drought before this weekend. He is four for five in the series with five RBI. Bats with the bases clear and two gone. Breaking ball. Settles in for strike one. 0-1 to Ariana. Breaking ball stays upstairs. 1-1 one one the count. BYU will finish with a winning home record. They're 13-7 here at Miller Park this year. 1-1. One, one, again a breaker and again ball. Ball two. BYU last five seasons has a win percentage of 74%, 70.4% here at home. 57 and 24. 2-1. Settles in for strike two. Two and two the count. Two out, no one on. Bryce Robinson working briskly. And that's a reach out. One hop single to center field for Lincoln Ariana. Ariana three for three. On the night and five for six in the series. And I already detailed how his productivity productivity numbers had really dipped before this weekend, and he's been on base in five of six plate appearances. And also has a walk. He's only been put out one time in seven plate appearances. Lincoln Ariana this weekend. Roby opens with the ball to Quint Landis. Landis hitting with a man aboard. BYU up 6-2 to two after a five-run fourth. Called strike. Change up from Roby. Count one and one. Two out, one on. The one on is Ariana at first base. Bryce comes set. Winds and deals. Breaking ball swung on and missed. The one-two. See if Roby can pick up his fourth strikeout of the night. Landis facing Robison. And that'll be a seeing eye single through the left side. So a pair of two out singles. Landis. Base hit to left. Pepperdine has more hits than BYU now. Seven to six. But the Cougs have six runs to the Waves too because BYU's hits have been big ones. Three run home run and two run home run in the fourth the Cougs made the Waves pay for three free passes, three walks and two home runs that's fastball paint job on the lower edge of the zone no balls and a strike to Jack Basir so two out single for Ariana, two out single for Landis they are at second and first respectively and that's fouled off home plate by Basir and he's down 0-2 to Bryce Robison Roby just threw his 86th pitch. His high pitch count of the year is a pretty healthy 125. So, hope he's got some uh, some room left in his pitch count. That's fouled down the first base, uh, third base line. Colin Ruder will give chase. No balls, two strikes, two out, two on. Jack Basir hitting 333 with runners in scoring position. That number dips to 296 with two out, and there are two out with a runner on second and a runner on first in a four-run ball game. That's in the dirt low and away. Chase pitch from Roby. And choosing not to chase is Basir. Basir has 18 multiple hit games on the year, but no hits on this night. He's 0 for 1 with an HBP. The 1 2, and that'll be grounded to Austin Deming. He'll look it into his glove, come up firing, and make the throw to first to end the inning. We're halfway home here at Miller Park for Pepperdine. No runs on two hits. There were no errors. Two were left on. We're halfway home. We go bottom five. 6-2 BYU on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Listening to BYU Baseball. 
Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Fifth, BYU a four-run lead, six to two after a five-run fourth. A five-run fourth featuring a two-run home run for Dawson Hall and a three-run home run for Austin Deming. Deming with that three-run shot. 17 home runs and now 62 RBI on the year. And both those numbers pace the West Coast Conference. He's also the WCC's batting average leader. So looking at a triple crown decision is Austin Deming. Brian Johnson and Austin Deming tied with 17 home runs apiece in the WCC. 1-1 meantime to Cooper Vest as we open the bottom of the fifth, and he'll lift that foul out of play down the left field line. A 1-2 count to BYU's left fielder. BYU baseball brought to you by Bam Bam's Barbecue. Bam Bam is bringing you authentic Central Texas barbecue. Try their tender brisket or mouth-watering pulled pork. The 1-2. Goes to 2-2. Two and two. Bam Bam's Barbecue located just north of BYU's campus. Bam Bam's a proud sponsor of BYU Athletics. BYU with a pair of Zions Bank home runs in the fourth inning. For banking that helps you game plan for life, Zions Bank is for you. Cooper Vest laces a base hit opposite field to open the fifth inning. BYU with its seventh hit of the night. And Coop has his second hit of the night. He's on a nine-game hit streak now. A double in the second, a ground out in the third, and a single to open the fifth. Cooper Vest aboard for the second time tonight. After his double to lead off the second, he scored on an Aussie Pratt RBI single. Jacob Wilk is 0-for-0 zero zero tonight. A hit by pitch and a base on balls. He scored after his walk. In the fourth inning, Dawson Hall brought him home with that two-run home run. After Dawson had the two-run shot, Parker Goff walked. Ozzie Pratt walked. Luke Anderson popped up, and then Austin Deming brought home Pratt and Goff with a three-run home run. Deming power shot to left center. A 1-1 to Jacob Wilk with one aboard. No one out here, bottom five. That's a 55-footer uh, that... Gets away from the catcher, Landis, and advances Cooper Vest to second base. So wild pitch by the new pitcher, we should note, for Pepperdine. Jack Chester, six foot four, 200-pound senior out of Austin, Texas. Third pitcher tonight, Bobby Christie, Gunnar Nichols, Jack Chester. Three right-handers for the Waves. Four-pitch mix for Chester. Again, his fastball. Not much faster than 85, so no one really throwing heat for the Waves tonight. The 2-1, that's hit in the air to center field. Center field took a minute to find it. Right fielder over to call him off and make the catch, so Pemberton calling off Bradshaw, and Cooper Vest will alertly tag and take third. So one out, and the sack fly in play now for Dawson Hall. Jacob Wilk flying out to right, advancing on the play is Cooper Vest on the tag. So Brent Herring, third base coach, now conversing with Coop on the third base bag. Noah Hill, the first base coach for BYU. Dawson Hall, two-run home run, his first of the year in his last at-bat. He's one for two tonight and two for five in the series. Eight for 17 in his at-bats on the year. Translates to 471 at the plate. Hitting 429 with runners in scoring position. And he's got a runner in scoring position. And Cooper Vest tagging on that fly out to right a moment ago. 1-0 goes to 2-0 from Jack Chester. Chester working on the first base side of the rubber with a man on third and one out. Dawson Hall gets it up in the air. He'll score Cooper Vest. A swing and a miss to put the count to 2-1. and one. Bryce Robinson's gone all the way for the Cougs. Waves onto their third pitcher. BYU Baseball brought to you by Smarty. We know where you live. Smarty, a proud sponsor of BYU Athletics. That's lifted in the air, but short left fielder not able to spot it. Shortstop going back and making a catch, tagging, and then having to retreat. 
is Cooper Vest not deep enough? And wow, the shortstop really bailing out Shane Shane, holding his hands up like, I don't see it, I don't see it. It's that time of night here at Miller Park. To short left field, shortstop had a long way to go to make that twisting, turning catch. That could have easily been dropped, but he makes the nice grab. Running away from the infield. And then turning and firing to making sure that uh, Cooper Vest would not tag on that sh- on that fly to short left. Because the left fielder was in no man's land out there. So well done by John Peck to record the out. Two out and Vest holds at third. So Dawson Hall pops up to short. But not a garden variety pop up by any means. Peck had work to do as the left fielder was lost off the barrel. Parker Goff, meantime, is in a 1-1 count on a swing and a miss. The nine-hole hitter, Goff, who's 0 for 1 tonight with a pop-up and a walk with a run scored. 6-2 BYU, bottom five here at Miller Park. Both teams seven hits. Cougars making better use of theirs. Off speed, and Goff gets out ahead for strike two. Swing and a miss for Parker. One ball, two strikes, two out, one on. Cooper Vest... The leadoff single is at third. Thought about it. Barrel came off the shoulder. Doesn't go through. The count goes to two and two. Both teams will end their 2023 seasons tomorrow, 1 o'clock here at Miller Park. The 2-2. And grounded to third. Bobbled by the third baseman. Didn't come up clean with it. And scoring from third is Cooper Vest. And reaching on the play is Parker Goff on the E5. BYU makes it 7-2 as Vest scores from third. And Goff reaches. That was a weird play. Third baseman just had to go off his glove. Was watching it into his leather and it just took a skip off the top of the, of the web. Very strange. So Goff is aboard and Vest scores. 7-2 BYU. Top of the order, Ozzy Pratt. Two for two with an RBI and a run scored. Ozzy singled and was stranded in the first. Singled and was stranded in the second. That was an RBI single in the second. And then he walked and scored on the Austin Deming three-run home run in the fourth. Check swing and nope. The appeal at third base is no. So the 0-1 goes to 1-1 one and one to Ozzy. Ozzy's hit streak now 16 games. His reach base streak is now 23 games. And his multiple hits in six of his last nine games. And is three for six in this series. The 1-1 with Goff on first. Ozzy turned on that, but well fouled down the right field line. Count goes to one and two. BYU seven and Pepperdine two. BYU seven runs on seven hits. The Waves two runs on seven hits. They have the game's lone error. And that error allowed BYU's seventh run to score moments ago. So an unearned run scored by Cooper Vest to make it 7-2. Goff reaching on the E5, and he's at first base. Ozzie Pratt will step back in. In a one-ball, two-strike count with two out and one on. Taking off is Parker Goff. Throw to second and late. We'll get into center field. Parker thought about taking off for third, but will retreat and be in scoring position for Ozzie Pratt in a 2-2 count. Pepperdine looking to snap a four-game losing skid and a six-game losing streak against BYU. BYU cannot finish with a winning record overall, but they can finish with a winning record in league. If the Cougs win tonight, they'll be 13-13 and 13 in West Coast Conference play. The 2-2. That's in the dirt. Fills the count. Three balls, two strikes with two out, and Parker Goff on second base. The Cougs have been retired in order only one time tonight. It was in the third inning. We're in the bottom of the fifth. BYU's up 7-2. Chester winds and deals, and again turned on, but grounded foul down the first baseline. Ozzy Pratt now batting 306 on the year. Ozzy with hits in 22 of his last 23 games and has been on base in 29 of his last 30 games. He's fitting the profile perfectly of a leadoff hitter. A 3-2 to Oz. 
Wind blowing out to center. And Ozzy will base hit that to right. Parker Goff comes around third. There will be no play at the plate, and the Cougars make it 8-2. to two. RBI single for Ozzie Pratt, his third single of the night. His second RBI of the night. He's 3 for 4, or 3 for 3 on this evening, and 4 for 7 in the series. Ozzie Pratt, base hit to right, driving home Parker Goff, and the Cougs make it a six-run lead at 8-2. to two. Ozzie's second RBI single of the evening. And Goff scores the Cougars' eighth run. His second run of the night. Batting now is Luke Anderson. Will Austin Deming get another shot with men aboard here in the sixth, in the fifth? He had a three-run home run in the fourth. The 0-1, 0-2. Luke on a healthy hack swings through. Strike two. So Chester gets ahead 0-2 with Deming on deck. Pratt on first. Ozzie single in the first, single in the second, single in the fifth, and a walk in the fourth. And Luke will turn on that and ground it through the 5-6 hole to put two aboard for Austin Deming. Another chance for Austin Deming with two aboard. Last time he had two aboard, he brought them all home with a no-doubter to the power alley and left. And now Deming will hit again with two on. His next home run will break a tie, or could break a tie tonight with Jack with Ryan Johnson of the Waves for the WCC home run lead at 17. So back-to-back singles for BYU. Deming opposite field to right. Right fielder back to the track and over the wall! Another three-run home run. Austin Deming does it again. And the Cougs blow it open. Six RBI on the night. A second consecutive three-run home run in as many innings for Austin Deming. Home run number 18 to take the solo WCC lead. RBIs number 63, 64, and 65. Man alive, Austin Deming. He is something else, and the Cougs make it 11-2. Here in the bottom of the fifth. AD for three. Again for BYU. A pair of three-run home runs in the fourth and fifth innings. A five-run fourth and a five-run fifth. And BYU busts it wide open here at Miller Park. Cole Gamble now takes two straight balls from Jack Chester. Austin Deming. Three-run home runs in consecutive innings. His 16th multiple RBI game of the year. He has six RBI on the night. Cole Gamble lifts that into foul territory down the left field line. Third baseman over. Shortstop over. Shortstop makes the catch falling backward. Calling off the third baseman Goodman. What a play by John Peck for out number three. But for BYU in the fifth, five more runs on four more hits. The big hit, a three-run home run from Austin Deming. The Cougs, five runs, four hits. There was an error. And there was no one left on. We go to the bottom or the top of the sixth in an 11-2 ball game. Cougs up by nine on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Hi, BYU fans. We're Breeze.